High kicks is the man in the middle. The Stingrays will be in blue. And the Steelers in their road whites. So here we go, one of the biggest crowds of the season here at the Hull Arena. Steelers fans have travelled in great numbers as always. The Steelers looking to close within three points of the Brayhead clan. The Stingrays looking to hold on to their position in the playoff places. And we wait to see who will get the upper hand in this one. First face off goes the way of the Sheffield Steelers. Misplayed by O'Connor, and he'll send it around the boards. And Laguie with the feed forward to Phillips. Tries to send it towards goal, it's deflected, it will reach Hewitt. Checked into the boards by Mayer. O'Connor back around. Phillips. Good start for the Steelers' third line, although that's a weak pass from Hewitt. Novato gets it out as far as Jordan Mayer. Tried to switch it across for Frederick, he was intercepted by Legui. Steelers are across the line and offside. Taken away and the Steelers will now transition. There's Mosienko driving wide around Knox. It's good speed from Mosienko, Drake drop pass and the puck is in from Fretta. The Steelers get the opener. And it was Mosienko who made it. With great speed down that right wing side. Knox couldn't stay with him and the drop pass to Fretta. And it's another first goal of the game for Colton Fretta. Nine times this season he scored the first goal in the game for the Steelers. Now that's just the start that they were looking for. So it's an even strength goal at 9 minutes 11. Fretta assisted Dowd and Mosienko. Colton Fretta with his 23rd of the season. That puck is free from the back of the net. And the Steelers keep the pressure on. Mosienko again. Jameson right with him. Mosienko resists. Gets the pass to Fretta and Brown is down. And with stick and blocker, Turcott and Dowd exchange words. Another look at that opportunity, there was no room down low, David Brown had taken away the lower part of the goal. can tell you that the Dundee Stars have made it 2-0 against the Nottingham Panthers. The Nottingham Panthers season really has fallen off a cliff in the last few weeks. Out of the title race, out of the cup. And here's Cohn. Off the end boards. And the will come out to the far side and be picked up by Havato. Sealers close in quickly. And starting to apply the pressure on the Stingrays. They have the lead. They're starting to try and turn the screw. Oh, it's gone all the way through. Brown wasn't ready for it. O'Connor sent it in. And I don't think he got a touch on the way through. And Brown is beaten in the five hole. Oh, what a soft one to get past. O'Connor was just looking for a deflection. And I think it may have just beaten everybody. Brown must have been unsighted because he simply never moved. Steelers have two in quick succession. Have you ever seen a netminder beaten quite like that? And the Steelers trying to provide an early birthday present. Here's Meyer! Look at that water bottle fly! And the Stingrays have earned that with their play in the last couple of minutes. They finally made the pressure pound, mesh of count. And Meyer just streaking through the middle, splits the Steelers' defence. And into the top corner. And the water bottle flies sky high. Oh, 
16 oh, LA is the time of the Steelers. Sorry, the Stingrays goal, I beg your pardon. Assist on the goal to Jan Turcott. It's another even strength goal. The pressure had been building. A couple of good shifts in a row from the Stingrays. And for once, Josh Eunice was not equal to it. Sealers trying to answer right back as Forney reflects this one to the corner. Wah. Wow. Wah wow has emerged from the corner. This is good. It's Matthew Wah. Wow. It's a backhand finish. Matthew Wah. Wow. For the 34th time this season. And the Stingrays, as they have done so often this season, concede straight after scoring themselves. And it's all Matthew Waugh bringing it out from the corner. And has the reach to go beyond Brown and into that far corner. Took it away from Jameson. And puts it in backhand side. Here is Tanaka. Pasha. Final 20 seconds of the period. What a boost it'll be for the Stingrays if they were to get one here. Havato, final 10 seconds. Hewitt cutting off his options and then giving away to Saric and the Steelers will clear it. And they will take a 3-1 lead into the first intermission. And what a good first period it has been. Stingrays were short-handed at the start of the second period last night and conceded almost immediately and they do the same in reverse to the Sheffield Steelers here and they've won the face off and Knox will bring it in down the right wing side comes through to Meyer kicked out by Eunice and the Stingrays do generate that early chance and Eunice has denied them Meyer but comes out to Frederick And the chance have started up again for Amy Usher in the 21st minute. As Maya goes from the short side and that ripples the net from the outside. Penalty on Wa has ended. So we are back to five on five hockey. Colonetti with the long pass forward. You may have noticed that Colonetti has shaved off the beard but kept the moustache. Important intervention from Chilcott. 115 denying another. Stingrays moving in menacingly. Osman trails the play. Lovely tip. What a goal. It was Towner with the deflection. And the lad who can hardly ever raise a smile has one as wide as the Humber. Great little redirect off the pass from Osman. It's an ongoing joke in Hull that Sam Towner never smiles. Oh, he's got his third of the season and every reason to be pleased with himself. Going to the goal and getting the touch to make it happen. Steelers power play on the road this season. Hasn't been great. Less than 15% away from the Motor Point Arena. And I Sheffield for that matter. Hey with the big blast. Side of the goal It's going to be put in by Mosienko. Brown handcuffed by the first shot that was blocked in front. And it's Mosienko at the side of the goal with the power play response. And it was Hay with the big blast. And Tyler Mosienko first to react. 34.02, the time of the five on four power play goal. And it's goal 24 on the season. For Tyler Mosienko, only a second power play marker. And Steelers fans reacted to the sight of Forney shooting and the net bulging. In reality, Forney had made a mess of it. And there wasn't a save for Brown to make. 
Little tangle at the side of the goal. Nothing much in it, and it's not a game that's had too much nastiness. In plenty of Hull and Sheffield games in the past that I've seen the gloves dropped, but it doesn't feel like that sort of game tonight. The Steelers will see if they can get one more attacking opportunity in the closing stages of the second. Pavato. He will get to this, he'll get a chance to shoot. Oh, and it's into the glove and out and just wide from Eunice. That was very nearly some late drama as the whistle does go. And Eunice with the save. And he only just got enough on that one. We'll take another look at it now. Time was ticking down. Novato took it on. And the shot was heading to that far corner. Eunice did need to get something on it. And he did just enough. And now the focus is the next 20 minutes. They've got a two-goal deficit to overturn. We are five on five at the start of the third. And it really does feel as though the momentum in this game and quite possibly the result will be determined by the next goal. If the Steelers get it, I really feel that it'll be just about job done for them. The Stingrays can get it. Well, then it's anyone's game once again. Sent on goal and comfortably taken in the glove by Eunice. Frederick is getting a little tangled up at the side of the goal. Uh, it looks as though there's going to be anything coming as a result of that. And this is Legui. Getting a regular shift on the third unit tonight. Haven't seen much of Phil Hill. Steelers beat out the icing and it's cleared away and then slammed in. Legui had the simplest of tasks. The big bounce off the glass, and the Stingrays just couldn't get it away. And Jeff Legui makes the most of his chance, but in truth, he couldn't really miss. It was going to be icing until the Steelers beat it out, and Legui had a pretty much unguarded goal to finish into. And that might be the goal that ensures that the points return to South Yorkshire. Go ahead of the whole Stingrays in the league standings. They're not the Stingrays out of the playoff places. Tanaka couldn't handle that at the blue line. Roy takes over, Forney, the Steelers looking really dangerous. And Mike Forney has the Steelers sixth. And an elite league leading, 35th on the season. The Steelers are threatening to run away with this now. Roy to Forney and the snapshot. Past the blocker of Brown. And the whole Stingrays are in real trouble of getting embarrassed here tonight. Fretta, Cone. Hay, Cone. Goes for the shot. Great deflection from Fretta. Out of midair. The hand-eye coordination required for that is top draw. And it's another power play goal and a special one for Colton Fretter. The Stingrays are frustrated. This game is getting away from them. And that's a second power play goal on the night for the Sheffield Steelers. Sort of dominant road performance that the Sheffield Steelers supporters have been looking for in their team throughout this season. Wow, beautiful from Forney's feed. The Sheffield Steelers are turning on the style, and the Stingrays have no answer. The eighth Sheffield Steelers goal is one of the prettiest. And it just all looks so simple. Forney with the speed. And Wad just beat Chilcop to the pass. In their own end. Wad, Petrusco, that shot was blocked by Turcot. 
Barney, Petruska, wide open and slamming it in is O'Connor. Cloud nine is occupied by the Sheffield Steelers right now. Second of the night for Ben O'Connor. An emphatic finish and another power play goal. And that is it for David Brown. And so we are going to see a bit of ice time for David Good in his first action of the season. Well, I think a couple may have migrated to the bar. The Steelers fans are still in their seats and Fret is moving in. Oh, and the save is made by Good. His first save as a member of the Hall Sting race. It was a good one to deny Fretta, who, remember, is seeking a hat-trick. Plenty of candidates for Steelers Man of the Match tonight, of which Fretta may certainly one. And then a victory here tonight means that they are back on track. And the Sheffield Steelers' pursuit of League Cup and playoffs is very much on track. The whole Stingrays have work still to do if they want to be in the end of season playoffs time is ticking down it doesn't look as though the Steelers are going to get double figures but I don't think they're going to mind they are going to run out comprehensive and convincing victors tonight by nine goals to two